What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We are just taking a look at VeChain here. Basically seeing what we can do with the charts. And as you can see, looking like, you know, ever since we put in that cheeky little long down here at these lows, looking to target some of these previous, you know, areas of resistance up here as a, you know, an area that we could take some profits. We've basically just been going sideways pretty much, haven't we? We had a little bit of a move to the upside, a little bit of a move to the downside, and now we're back up here again. There's very, very low volume and interest in the markets at the minute. As you can see on the hourly time frame here, we really haven't had much movement at all. As a lot of cryptos do continue to chop sideways in this very, very low volume and low interest time of the year, especially over the holidays when a lot of people are just taking a break from, you know, financial markets in general. And you can see here, there's no exception for VeChain either. A lot of cryptos have just been going sideways, which is, you know, absolutely fair enough in our opinion. Considering this time of year is, you know, it's notorious for very, very low, low volatility and slow markets. Bitcoin and Ethereum basically going sideways. Pretty much everything's going sideways apart from some altcoins which are just trickling to the downside. And we'd probably expect VeChain, you know, it's most likely going to come up, as we've said here, retest that previous support as resistance and get continuation to the downside until it does get down to a very, very key level of support. There is one down here at around, what is this? That one cent level would probably be our next key target to the downside in the short to mid term if we do continue to the downside as we've been saying. Obviously mid to long term, we do think that most cryptos are gonna recover nicely and get back up some through some Fibonacci levels, back up towards all time highs, etc. But in the short term, we do think, you know, continue to the downside, it's very, very likely. And you know, it's probably the most logical outcome. As we continue to lose value in these markets, and we are essentially waiting for Bitcoin to find that true bottom and really get some bullish momentum over the next year or so, aren't we? So I can't believe it's been two years pretty much since the bull market started. It seems like a lifetime ago, but things have really changed a lot, haven't they, over those past few years? Uh, thank you very much for supporting us, by the way. We really appreciate it. And uh, basically, you know, we're looking for VeChain here to have a little bit of a bounce before probably continuing to roll over, aren't we? So that would be on our analysis of our analysis for today guys thank you very much for watching indeed please like and subscribe if you haven't already have a great christmas and a happy new year and we will see you in the next video